All right, Ash, you've jotted down as you were talking. Um, we have to solve a system of equations. So this is a really typical type of problem. Um, usually, there will be two equations that we're going to solve. And this is a typical one. So very often, the two equations break down like this. There is a quantity equation, or maybe I'll just call it amount. Okay, there's an equation that's all about the amount, just like how many of something. And then very often there is a money equation. Okay, so those are going to be our two equations, the amount and the money. We're going to need some variables. So, you know, we have adult and child. I mean, you could use x and y. Uh, just to be clear, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let a be the number of adult tickets and I'm going to let C be the number of child tickets. Okay, you can use X and Y if you want to. Um, now, as far as the amount equation, the amount equation is going to be really simple. Um, if A is the number of adult tickets and C is the number of child tickets. Um, do we know the total number of tickets that were sold? Um, this, I believe, was the total number of tickets sold, 189. So could you make me a simple equation involving A, C, and 189? Okay, I'm hoping you said A plus C equals 189. Okay, the quantity equation, the how many equation, the amount equation is usually really simple like that. All right, A is the number of adult, C is the number of child tickets, the total number of tickets is 189. So it makes sense that A plus C should equal 189. Now, the money equation is next. Um, remember, over here, we have the total amount of money that was sold. In fact, um, well, you know, I'll just go in order. The problem tells us um, so much money they are charging per adult ticket so much money they are charging per child ticket. Um, $8 per adult ticket and $3 per child ticket. So the money equation is going to start off like this. All right, $8 per adult ticket. All right, that's the money that you get from adult tickets. Plus $3 per child ticket. Okay, that's the money you get from a child ticket. And that should equal the total amount of money. And they told us the total money was $1,242. So $1,242. OK, boom. This is the system of equations that we need to solve. These are the two equations that we are working with. OK. Um, we can either solve these systems by elimination or by substitution. I don't know which one you're more familiar with. Um, I think I will, I'm going to do them both ways, but first I'm going to solve it by substitution. Substitution. Okay, and here's how substitution works. Um, when we solve by substitution, I think it's easiest if we uh, write the equations horizontally. So a plus c is equal to 189. That's the first equation. Okay, I'm going to make a line. And then the second equation is 8a plus 3c is equal to 1, 2, 4, 2. Substitution works like this. Um, you get one variable by itself, and then you can substitute into the other equation. Um, so for example, let's say if we get A by itself. 
um, well, let me go back a second. We could get A by itself by subtracting C from both sides, like minus C minus C. Okay, so that's going to give me A equals, um, and I could either put 189 minus C, just putting those next to each other, or I could have said negative C plus 189. I'm just going to go with this. So that means A equals 189 minus C. That means next time I see an A, if I want to, I can write 189 minus C because they're equal. So that's what I'm going to do. So I can take this and substitute it for A in the other equation. So this is going to become, if I just rewrite this, 8A, okay, I'm leaving space, plus 3C is equal to 1, 2, 4, 2. See how all I did was I recopied the equation, but uh, the spot where the A is, I left a parentheses so I could substitute in something new. And uh, that thing is going to be, of course, my 189 minus C. Okay? So, of course, now I need to do the distributive property like this. So, um, let's see, 8 times 189. I don't know that off the top of my head. Okay, that's 1,512. Okay, so I've got 1,512 minus 8C, and then the rest of it. Okay, plus 3C is equal to 1,242. All right, I've got these like terms right here. I like to put those together. So I've got 1,512, negative 8, positive 3, that's negative 5C, uh, is equal to 1,242. Okay, let's uh, subtract this number. We're trying to get C by itself. So let's go ahead and subtract 1,512 from both sides. Okay, so that's going to give me negative 5c is equal to, you know, I should be able to do this in my head, but 1, 2, 4, 2. Okay, so this is, what am I doing? Doing positive 1, 2, 4, 2 minus that thing. Okay, so I've got 1,242 minus 1,512. Okay, that's negative 270. Okay, um, time to divide both sides by negative 5. So this is going to give me, uh, I'm just going to do this. Fifty-four. Okay, so C is equal to fifty-four. All right, so right there, I know the number of child tickets that were sold. All right, fifty-four of those. Of course, once I know that, uh, then I can figure out the number of adult tickets sold. Because the number of adult tickets should be 189 minus the number of child tickets. Okay, so that's 135. Okay, so it looks like we sold 135 adult tickets and 54 child tickets. All right, I'm going to stop this video here so I can go ahead and post this on the uh, YouTube for you. And uh, if you want me to do one involving the elimination method, which is the other way of doing this, I will do that for you. But this is probably...
Well, you know what? They're equally easy. Um, so you tell me if you want me to do the other method. 